Hello, Scorpio. It's my lady from my lady's way tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly week love reading for the week of November 12th through the 19th, 2018. The cards I am using today are Wisdom of the House of Night by PC Cast. And I'm closing off with my Wild Unknown Tarot um, by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. What's going on with the Scorpio? Scorpio, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. All right, so it seems like somebody's only telling pieces of the story or um, getting pieces of a story, okay? All right, so it seems like somebody left and they only somebody don't know why okay so i feel like either you left somebody and left them hanging like they don't know what's going on or somebody left you okay either way around all right so complicated so it's, it's exactly what it is um it's basically like Like somebody's trying to make things harder than what it really is, okay? Or make things complicated, but it's still like you already know what's going on, okay? But we're going to see what it's talking about in a second. All right, so it seems like somebody made some kind of promise, some kind of oath, possibly got married. And I feel like it might have stripped someone of just who they are, Okay. I feel like somebody had to conform. Okay, and I feel like somebody was making things harder than what it was. Let's see what this complicated is about. What's so complicated here? Okay. So, it seems like somebody is not making someone feel good somebody making someone feel worthy okay it's like no matter what i do nothing's right unless i'm doing exactly what you tell me to do and i'm still not doing anything right okay and what's crazy is it seems like i feel like before the oath or the marriage or um some kind of contract this person was treating you like you were everything. You are so beautiful everything that you did as a person was so great but as soon as you signed this paper for them or y'all together that's when things got complicated okay but it's clear to see that this person just did whatever they needed you to do just to hold you down okay just to get in the door and now they turned into a completely different person okay so yeah it seems like once this oath came once they you signed that paper with this person uh, this person came who became who they really are. Okay. They, they let their real self out. All right. So it seems like the situation, the relationship is still full of passion. Okay. I feel like grown up time is the best time in the relationship. Um, but I also feel like outside of there, you know, it's just like you just another piece of furniture, uh, something on the wall. I mean, like y'all go to the store, this person walks in front of you. You know, it's just like I feel like th this person treats you more of a pet than an actual person. OK, and just not a pet that you like really like. Just like, come on, follow me. Do this. Do that. Like more of a servant. OK. But I feel like maybe the grown-up situation is what's keeping keeping you locked down, okay? Still there. All right, so we have this trapped card here. So it seems like you know you're not trapped, but you don't want to leave because this passion is making you stay, stay there. The passion is keeping you there, okay? All right, so we have playful here. Yeah, this makes me feel like you really want to start something new, start having fun doing doing stuff, but I feel like you just don't feel like you don't feel like you're good enough, okay? I feel like it's just not close enough. Okay? You're just like scared. 
scared but curious at the same time. All right. All right. What's going on for this Scorpio? What's going on for the Scorpio love reading for November 12th through 19th, 2018? What's going on with the Scorpio? Scorpio, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. All right, so it seems like after this oath, nothing is what you or you hope for, okay? Of course, we all look for the fairy tale. It seems like everything was going that way. You know, it was good grown-up time. You know, this person made you feel like a queen or king. And now it's like, okay, come on, follow me. Okay, go get in the room. Okay, come back out and clean up, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, here, yeah, we got the Father of Swords reversed. So it seems like somebody's taking their authority and using it in a negative way. Okay, this person, wow. I mean, as long as this contract is still here, this person is never going to let you feel like that you're worth as, as much as you're worth, okay? But this person was appreciating it while you guys were, I, I'm going to say single or... um before this contract was here but now it's just like i i got you and you know nobody's gonna take you all right but i feel like you know you can get free but the grown-up thing is keeping you back all right oh goodness <sighs> okay so it seems like there's some kind of third party situation going on here but this makes me feel like you took this person from someone okay so I know this is not um, everybody, okay? But if this is your reading, this is you, okay? You took this person from somebody or somebody took this person or however that go. Like whoever the oath is in this relationship, one of these persons had someone else and they came to this relationship. And then I feel like the, the controlling person is kind of mad about that too, Okay, like now you're mine. You can't go anywhere, you know, because I gave up this and that for you. Okay, and you feel a little bad. So you're letting this person do it, but you also know you can leave when you want to. Okay, but it's just that fulfillment that's keeping you there, that passion fulfillment. All right, so it seems like there's a lot of stalking going on too. This is the person who was left behind. All right. All right, let's see what this Father of Swords is about. One card, please, for the Scorpio. All right, yeah. So it seems like somebody's analyzing the situation the wrong way, which causing the uh, situation to be dead. It's over, okay? But it seems like, of course, you both are still holding on to this situation that is not so good for either. It's pretty toxic, okay? And it's because of passion, all right? All right, what's going on for this Three of Cups? Reverse one card, please, for the Scorpio. All right. Okay, so this makes me feel like this third-party situation. I feel like it was going on for five months, five weeks, five years, um, something around there, and I feel like, Somebody was planning to leave for that long, okay? And I feel like somebody finally left the situation they were in, okay? And now they're in the situation with you. You guys signed up to some apartments or whatever house, and now this person is trying to control your whole life, okay? This person is starting to get to you because it's starting to make you feel like you're less of a person, but you still, at this point, know that you can, you can leave, okay? So... With this feeling, this situation right here, I would say leave while you can because it looks like that door of feeling like you can leave is getting ready to disappear, okay? All right, what is this Daughter of Swords reverse? One card, please, for the Scorpio. 
Okay, look, you still feel like you, you're not being trapped. You don't feel trapped, okay? You you just feel like you need to be here. You should be here. And I feel like there's a bit of manipulation that makes you feel like that too. But it's the fulfillment. I'm only here for the fun, okay? But it's like your emotions are getting stuck in this too, which is making it the first thing, complicated, okay? All right, and it seems like there's a little bit of a stalking going on here as well. No, not a little bit. It's a lot. I'm talking about, I feel like this person is like, drop, this, you have a car, but this person want to drop you off at work. They want to come pick you up. They want to call you on every single break. They want you to take your break at a certain time. So this person is like a drill sergeant. Okay. Okay. So, oh goodness. So of course this person being like this out of the blue, just crazy and controlling. I feel like you are trying to pick up the pieces from this situation. You're trying to rebuild off this situation. But this tree is never going to be built the same, okay? You are getting ready to lose yourself into this, into this, 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 this control cycle, okay? So this is not anything that I would suggest anybody to rebuild. But, you know, if you are happy, which these cards are saying is not happening, um, go for it. But if you ain't happy, it's time to fly away. All right. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, thanks for watching.